In a recent blog post for developerseoguide.com, I talked about HTTP status codes and their effect on SEO. In it, I shared some commands that you can run on the command line um, to retrieve the status code from a particular website. And in this video, I want to go a bit deeper into what we can do with it. So in the post, I wrote uh, something like this. So curl uh, with a flag, capital I, and then a website. And what we get back here is the header, header information of the website. And importantly, at the very first line here, we have the 200 status code, which means okay. So that's really great. Um, but there's there, there, we can sort of tidy this up a bit. So the first thing I want to do is we only care about that top line. So let's only see that top line. So we can pipe the head and say, look, just give me the first line. And here we go. But we've got now just the first line. That's kind of cool, but we've got now this status thing, um, which is uh, what curl gives whenever it goes off to retrieve information. We can quickly silence that by passing an S flag in. Perfect. This will do better. So we've got the first row, but we really only care about this second column. So there's a really good tool for that called awk. And with awk, you can pass in some commands and tell it I want the, uh, you, can, you, can, you can do a lot of sort of manipulation uh, with it. So in this case, I want the second column. So I'm saying print the second column of whatever output I receive. If I do that, we get status 200, which is exactly what we want. I hope you find this useful and uh, there'll be a link uh, below the video um, to the original post where I talked about all these status codes and it would be really good if you could share your thoughts in the comments below.